go into the Creality Scan software, what we need to do is click the scanner, which I've already done, click Scan, choose what settings you want to use, and then click Scan. Because we are using the tracking box, I suggest removing the exclude flat base. So what that will do is allow you to have a flat base where the blocks are still going to be part of the model. So let's get going. I will fast forward some of this so that you don't have to sit through the whole entirety of me scanning these three times um, and all the optimizing and everything, but I'll stop and explain what I'm doing as I'm going. So let's get started scanning. Be pretty much a good scan anyway. There's still a few orange spots, but we will stop this one. And we've got most of the stuff we need, as you can see. The four blocks, the bit of paper I've got them on so I can spin it around. And because we want to do a multi project, we're going to come up to this section and click on new project. Basically what this is going to do is it's going to scare you and think that you're starting a complete new scan but it saves it under the same project. So new scan, it will ask the same questions, click on new scan, basically start again. And again remove that exclude flat base. that one complete and then again you can see that if I flip it round you've only got one side but we can still use these markers so again we want another scan so we'll go new project keep it all the same as it is again and then we're going to start the scan again remember to move the floor base Start the scan. I find it a lot easier as well if you can start off close to the object and then pull yourself away to the optimal distance. It actually fills the screen quicker. That might just be my mad thinking of it, but it seems to work for me. Don't know if you want to give it a go and then leave a comment. Let me know if it works for you or not. I've also kept everything default so far just to not confuse everything because I've taken everything off and changed settings. And I'm probably going to call that one as well. Complete. Yes. Right. That away, put that down. So what we need to do now when we're in this section, and we've got the the amount of scans that we require. I've lost my mouse. There it is. We've got the scans we require. What we want to do is have a look, make sure they are what we want because for instance say that one wasn't good enough. We wanted more than that one. What you could do is just on the three dots, you can delete that one and then go back and do it again. So on these, what we need to do, and this is a bit I'll fast forward, is we need to optimize these. I always optimize manual resolution 0.2 and then optimize. So I'm gonna do this for the three of them, but I'm gonna fast forward from here.
Right, okay. So we've got these all optimized. So they're more solid. And as you can see, we've got the pattern showing where we need. So for this one, it's not the best, but it's just on that edge, we'll use that line. And for this one, that is the one I was talking about, that one and that one. And then for this one, again, we'll use that edge along there. So, point cloud merging, and then you can either do auto, and then select what ones you want, and then click start, or we're gonna do manual, and we're gonna select which ones we want. So the first window, second window, so we'll scroll in not that far. what you get for using a trackpad. Right, so the code is a bit nice. And because we've used that section, we want to use that bit. Shift and left click, and then shift and left click. Once you get your three points, click merge. Component one, project three, and we are going to use that circle.
can and then we can go back to our component and then we can do the rest while we're here actually we can do the cleaning up so what I like to do is just straighten them up as best we can and then we'll use the square lasso shift right click Of stuff we'll go in and we'll change to lasso and then just drag around where we want to remove delete spin it around a little bit delete Granted, what we'd want is more of this covered, but then you could change it to a different setting. So instead of textured, you could change it to geometry for this section of that scan and then still merge it under the same. But for the point of showing how the tracking block works, that's how I use them. If you use them and you have any luck, let me know. If you want any more videos like this, let me know if there's anything you need helping with again let me know I'm more than happy to make a video on pretty much anything that you need to know with either the CR scan lizard or the CR scan ferret and with the ferret that counts as the ferret the ferret pro and the ferret se so if you have any comments let me know if you like this please like and subscribe 